The finger brake has five segmented fingers. They come in one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and nine and a half, held in place by a chromoly clamping bar. The non-finger brake is this unit right here, a solid one-piece die where these guide tubes are welded directly to the top die. It's definitely a lesser expensive option, but you do lose out on a couple of key components. You lose out on the ability to form a shallow box or pan, something like you'd see right here. For example, the first bend's easy. You can do that with a solid top die. The second bend, no problem. You run into issues on the third bend. On the third bend, you need to have a finger that can drop in between the two legs you just previously bent. That is the main major advantage of the finger dies. Without them, you can't do a box. No way around it. The other bonus of the finger brake is we have two optional upgrades we currently offer. The gooseneck dies, which look like these. We sell them to you in four stacks. Six per stack, so you get a total of 24 per set. Those gooseneck dies can get welded by the end user, and they're half inch thick. So what we do here at the shop is we have one half inch, two one inch, three inch and a half, and so on, until you work your way up and consume all 24 fingers. That way we know we need to bend a piece that's one inch wide with the gooseneck dies, grab the piece that has two, it's one inch wide. Where gooseneck dies are really handy, if you want to do something like this. Again, the first bend's easy. You can always do the first bend without issue. The problem lies with the second bend. This die will not come in there at a 45 degree angle like you need it to, to properly bend this piece of material. The gooseneck dies can. So you can see right there in the photo, if this was a straight section, the indentation would hit the straight leg. Gooseneck dies are just that. It kind of looks like a gooseneck or a swan neck. It's designed for tight, narrow channel, where a straight die would interfere with a piece of metal you're bending. Again, not going to happen. That's the only reason for the gooseneck dies. Tight, narrow channels, they sure are handy. The second feature we have, hemming dies, simply put, fold material back on itself. Again, there's four stacks, so you get a total of eight inches on the top and eight inches on the bottom when you fully weld them together. Same thing, we have them in one, sets of two, sets of three, sets of four, and sets of five, and that consumes all 10 inches of fingers. The way you install these, you literally put this in the bottom die set like so, you'll knock out these teeth, clamp it in position, and bend your material. Now I'll give you a demonstration here in just a moment. But with the hemming dies, this is your first bend. You can bend thinner gauge material, almost works similar to the way of the flat top die assembly. You get really tight, crisp, narrow bends. That's the first bend, you'll take it out, smash it flat, and you'll end up with a piece just like this. So essentially that's the major advantage of the gooseneck finger dies. You can do shallow pans or boxes that you could not do with a straight solid die. Plus you can run the two other upgrades that we have, the gooseneck or the hemming die. All right, with that said, right now I'm gonna walk you through operation on how to hem material using our hemming dies. First thing I'm gonna do is drop out the fingers. All right, so what I've done here is I've stacked up a total of 12 pieces or six inches of hemming dies. And I'm gonna bend this four inch wide piece of 16 gauge. Now these are all, for the most part, welded together, but there's one individual straggler. It's hard to get them all lined up properly seated. Here's my technique. Well, you know, there's equal tension on all of them. Put 
put in our uh, four inch wide piece of 16 gauge. Let her rip. That's it. So now, to hem the piece material, all we're going to do is take these fingers out, take two upper plates or two pieces of steel, or simply press this down using this stud real simple, real fast. So again, hemming dies are simply for just that, hemming material back on itself. So to reiterate, there is a total of 16 of these, which gives you 8 inches of hemming dies and 12 inches of gooseneck dies per kit. Additional information, pictures can be found on our website, swagoffroad.com. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions. We appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.